Hey guys, Wendy here and welcome back to my channel. So, real quick, I figured I'd do this video for you guys because I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and I found a lot of cool stuff. Some stuff is actually like necessity type of things, but some stuff is just kind of like, ooh, I got a good idea. So I'll be doing some hacks because you seem to have liked my high-end Dollar Tree DIY and hack video. So I was like, why not keep it going? All right, but before we jump into the video, welcome. My name is Wayna, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is mainly home decor related, especially rental friendly home decor because I am a renter right now. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in and you like tips, tricks, and ideas on how to update your space on a temporary basis on a budget, then this is the channel that will be very helpful for you. All right, so with that being said, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and let me show you guys what I got. Just a disclaimer, I will be hopping around my house because some of the stuff, it looks better if I show you and tell you than just telling you. All right, all right, so real quick, let me show you. Let me show you the wallpapers that I picked up and I picked up a lot. <laughs> I may do a giveaway with this. Um, if it comes out nice on my cabinets, then I'll probably do a giveaway. Um, so yeah, I picked up all of these and it's a wood grain wallpaper. Um, it's really not a wallpaper, the guys. It's actually a drawer liner, but you may be able to use this for covering cabinets. So I will let you guys know. Um, probably do my bathroom cabinet just to see how it looks. I don't know. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, so that was the first thing. And y'all, this Dollar Tree was like brand new. So it had some of everything in it. And then I picked up some rocks, some black rocks. Of course, you know, this is for DIY and hacking some things that I have around the house. I decided to add these rocks into this planter. All I did was use a pool noodle, which was from the Dollar Tree as well. I cut it down and then I used some cardboard to place on top. From there, I just added the rocks on top of the cardboard and it gave it this really high-end finished look. And I've seen this done a lot of times in different hotels, restaurants, and it looks so nice to me. So I picked up a bunch of those, like five of those. And then I found some more cute album, photo albums, that is. This one is so cute to me. It's a black, gold, wood, and marble. Some of my favorite colors, so I had to get it. And then this one is like a brown leopard. So I have a lot of photos stored neatly, but they're not in any photo albums or anything like that. So I've been just kind of picking up little inexpensive photo albums um, as I can find them and my goal before the end of this year is to put all my pictures together so these are cute at the Dollar Tree I must say this Dollar Tree that I was in I don't know what neighborhood I wouldn't say it's a mixed neighborhood but they had a lot of brown people art I was like okay okay so I like these pictures this one kind of remind me of Beyonce from far away actually when I'm looking at it a little bit but um, this was a nice uh, find, actually. And I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, I've been complaining about art, you know, not having, you know, African-American art. You know, if you do a piece and it has a Caucasian person on it, then why not do the same piece with African-American or Hispanic or, you know, Asian? Just be more diverse. You know what I mean? That's all I ask. But I think we're getting that point across nowadays. So hopefully we make some real change. But anyhow, these pictures were really nice and only thing I didn't like about it was really like the background I don't really like this warm color but you guys know I am no I'm not shy of drawing on pictures I will color this black with this uh, background a different color so fast um, this one's cool because it's gray but yeah and I didn't like the picture frame that it's in so I picked up some more picture frames which this one to me is so nice because it has the matte the um yeah the mat i was like look at the dollar tree trying to come up when did y'all start putting mats in y'all frames and this is like a brown wood tone but you know a little spray paint could fix that 
no problem and then I found this one here that was really nice it's kind of like a hammered gold so that was nice and then I will probably spray paint that to get it to be the gold that I want and then I found another matted frame and this was gold already and then a white and gold so yeah then I went over to the kitchen section and I went crazy I found these um, placemats that I think are actually really cute but I was like, oh, this actually would look cute in my space with, you know, the kind of vibe that I have going on. And I like the pattern more so than anything. So I found these $4. Can't beat that. And if it doesn't work out in the dining room area, I will probably use these for a DIY all day. I can see a DIY in the future with these if it doesn't look right on the table. And then I picked this little shower caddy up as well as this little organizing basket and I'm going to hack these as well. Something about taking something and using it for what it's not for just it's, it just it liberates me. I don't know. I feel like a rock star like <laughs> but you can't do it like me. Now I was in dire need of some type of organization system in my cabinets in my bathrooms. So I came up with the idea of kind of closing off the back of this Dollar Tree shower caddy and I wanted to add a basket to it. So I used the twine that I purchased a while ago from the Dollar Tree and I just went around and around and around just to kind of create a back, like a barrier in the back and also add a little texture to this very plain white caddy. So all I did was tie it up once I was finished and then I did the same thing to the bottom portion. And then I'm also using some placemats that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And actually I think they're cutting boards. And to attach it to the bottom of this piece, all I did was tie it up with the twine. This is a very, very, very low cost and easy DIY to do. So once I attached everything, then I just tied it off at the bottom just like I did the back of it and I think it just gives so much character nice and complete I just used my wire cutters and cut the tops off with just a little bit of the wire hanging over and then I used my pliers and kind of bent it to the front and I used some command hooks and I hung it inside of my cabinet. And it just houses my hair brushes, some edge control, and a few of my rat tail combs, but I love it. I actually purchased a lot of stuff for the kitchen and I'm a big fan of the Dollar Tree when it comes to kitchen stuff. I like to have some cute stuff, you know, especially when you're taking pictures and you want your stuff to look extra posh. But Dollar Tree has a lot of good things in the kitchen section. So I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up. I picked up a strainer. And the reason I picked this up is because I find that I'm always straining something or always washing produce lately. Especially since we've been on quarantine. And I've been trying to eat healthy and lose weight. Not, not weight, but I'm trying to like get a flat stomach. But anyhow, I thought that this mixing bowl, which I would use to wash my produce in, and this strainer was like really good. I could really see myself using it. And then I like that the strainer fits inside of the mixing bowl. So yeah, this was really good. This is really good. I found these kitchen towels, which I promise you, I have one right now, actually two that I got from Target. And I did not get them out of the dollar spot. I paid like more than a dollar for them because they had the little same little towel but I found it at the Dollar Tree so this was really really nice I actually should I got some more um, in different colors but they're like a microfiber towel so yeah and then I love 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 this chopping mat I already have one the one that I have is so dusty because I've used it so many times and guys I use this on my marble contact paper that's in the kitchen and I have no problems it doesn't um, it's, it's, it protects the marble contact paper and this is so easy to clean up and super easy to store and yeah just I love it I really really do then I picked up these little clear bowls which I really like because when I'm trying to meal prep I think it's easier when you have everything in bowls plus it just looks nicer the mind is more organized when you're cooking and then I picked up this wooden spoon or it's like a bamboo 
what is this called? A bamboo turner. But yeah, I don't know why I picked this up. I just, I don't know. I like wood stuff in the, in the kitchen and it was only a dollar. So yeah, that's why I picked it up. I picked up some more um, tongs because the ones that I have are starting to rust. I'm in Florida guys and for some reason everything rusts down here. I think it's because of the salt in the water or something like that. I don't know. I have to look into that. If you guys know why things in Florida um, become rusty so much, please let me know. Um, but I like these because they actually have a handle that kind of mimics scissors. So, dollar. Needed a potato pillar because, like I said, I'm trying to get a flat stomach. So, I've been eating a lot of um, sweet potatoes for my carbs. And the, I don't know what happened to the potato pillar that I had before. But, yeah, when I got another one. Then I got this, um, what is this, a mashed potato, a potato masher. And I picked this up because I make ground turkey every week, guys. Every week without fails, I, I ground, I brown two or three pounds of ground turkey because you have a teenager, you know, the diet is very strict. Pizza, ramen noodles, and tacos. <laughs> it's like the, or chicken nuggets. Yeah, that's the, that's the, one of the diets in this household. So, yeah. Pick that up and um, this little knife, because the one that I have, it looks just like it. It has rust on it. And then they had these really cute paring knives with the little cover. And I was just like, this is so cute to be in the Dollar Tree. Oh, this is just so cute. And it's like a rubber little handle. I don't know. I appreciated these knives. Like I said, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, so it just makes sense. Then I also picked up this silicone sink strainer and I needed this because I don't have anything covering the sink where the, the uh, garbage disposal is. So I'm going to put that in there. <laughs> so not bad. One dollar. So that was all of my kitchen stuff that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Next, I want to show you guys the craft stuff that I picked up quite a bit. I found a lot of good stuff, not just hackable stuff, stuff that I would have went to Walmart and paid way more money for or, or Target. This is such a cute print to me. I don't know why. I cannot tell you why, but this is such a beautiful print to me. I feel like this would be beautiful if it was framed. Eh? It's just so much color in there. So I picked that up because I was like, if I don't use that in a gift, as given a gift, I will definitely use that as a picture frame. Uh, or just like a picture in a gallery or something like that. Same thing with these. I was like, hmm, these are really pretty. But even if you didn't use them for, you know, gift purposes, they would be really cute. thought this one was really dope. Just the font and the gold and the pink. Such my vibe. I really, really like this Dollar Tree, guys. Simple but cute. And then, again, simple but cute. Can't go wrong with love. We need more love in the world. And pink, all on trend. So, yeah, I thought those were, like, really cute when I walked past them. I was like, hold on. Where y'all get all this cute stuff from? picked up some shower curtains no not for my shower I actually do not use plastic shower curtains because I don't like the way that you have to keep buying them and throwing them out so I don't use them I use um, a uh, 
a cloth it's more of a cloth so you can take it down and wash it which that is a tip it's a money saver if you do that if you purchase a shower liner that is more of like a cloth versus plastic you will save money in the long run but anyhow i picked this up because this is going to be a part of one of my diys that i'm doing so yeah stay for that too if you are a doggy lover then i picked up some treats for my pup and i am actually getting ready to make him like a little treat container i had some protein powder that i went through so i was like about to throw the canister away and then i was like wait no you can reuse that so that's what i'm going to be doing let me show you one of the little treats that the dollar tree had they had the gravy train which he loves he used to get it from walmart so i picked him up these gravy trains and then I picked up this um, peanut butter flavored dog biscuit. We'll see. And then this looks so like expensive. I was like, okay, Dollar Tree oven bake chicken jerky strips. This is gourmet dog food at the Dollar Tree, guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to give him this treat and see if he likes it. But my dog is a little bougie. Sometimes he'll just be like, hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> so we'll see. But I got to go, guys. I'm about to hit the gym. And um, hopefully you like some of these things. Hopefully your Dollar Tree has it. All right, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget. And I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye, guys. Want to see more Dollar Tree hack videos similar to this one? Click the link in the description box below or the videos on the screen.